chocolate nut pinwheel cookies. These cookies are actually going to be in my Christmas cookie platter this year. I found it in the Taste of Home magazine. In a large bowl starting off with two-thirds of a cup of butter that's been softened and then three-quarters of a cup of white granulated sugar. Blend those things together with an electric mixer or by hand until it's light and fluffy and then add one egg. Continue to blend until well combined and then add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one half teaspoon of baking powder. You can also add one quarter teaspoon of salt at this point if you used unsalted butter. Then for the flour, which is one and three quarter cups of all purpose flour, and blend that until the dough starts to come together. And you'll end up with a fairly soft dough. Just bring it together with your hands until you get a ball and then cut it in half. And then we're gonna do something different with each of these halves. For the first half, we're going to add one quarter teaspoon of almond extract and one third of a cup of ground almonds. And then blend that together. And that'll be the white portion of the dough in these, in these pinwheel cookies. So bring that together and put it aside for the moment. And then for the second half, we're going to add one quarter cup of unsweetened cocoa. And this may take a little while to blend in because it is dry, but you will end up with a nice chocolate colored dough when it's all done. Now we need to roll these dough pieces out. Place the dough on a piece of wax paper on your countertop, put another piece over top, and then using a rolling pin, roll out the dough until you get a rectangle shape that is approximately 16 inches long by eight inches wide. And it's not absolutely necessary to use a ruler to make sure you have the exact dimensions, but you want to make sure that your white piece and your chocolate piece are the same size. And once you get the size you want, put it on a cookie sheet and put it in the refrigerator to chill. And do the same thing with the chocolate colored piece. I found it was better if you rolled it out into a log shape first and then flattened it out. You need the pieces to be about a quarter of an inch thick. And if you use the 16 by eight dimensions, they'll probably automatically end up being the right thickness all over. So once again, placing it on a cookie sheet and putting it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes until it firms up. Once it's firmed up, take the white piece, and put it on top of the chocolate piece and just press down a little bit and then peel off the waxed paper. They will stick together quite nicely. And then you need to roll it up so you get your pinwheel shape. You're going to start from the long edge and help use the wax paper to help you as you're doing this. It might be a little bit difficult to get it started. And if you find the dough is cracking a lot because maybe it's a little bit too chilled, just let it sit at room temperature for a few minutes and it'll soften right up quite quickly. So I'm using the wax paper to help roll it up evenly and I'm pressing the rolled section together a little bit just to make sure that those pieces are sticking together nicely and there are no large air pockets. So once it's all rolled up, you're going to roll, wrap it in some wax paper and then you're going to put it in the refrigerator to let it chill for several hours or overnight. Now I let mine sit in the refrigerator for about four hours and it was perfect. Make sure you wrap your dough so that it doesn't dry out in the refrigerator. Once it's all wrapped up, I put mine on a cookie sheet just to make sure that the dough log stayed nice and straight. And then once it was thoroughly chilled, I took it out and I cut the roll in half just to make it easier to manage because my cutting board wasn't very long. And then using a sharp knife, cut the roll into quarter inch slices and each of those slices will be a cookie. Place these on an ungreased cookie sheet. I'm using a silicone mat because I always do. I just a lot easier for cleanup. These don't spread very much, so an inch or so between them would be plenty. And then bake them at 350 degrees for about nine to 11 minutes or until set. They will not change color very much. They may get just slightly, just a teeny bit brown on the bottom, but the color and the size will stay about the same. It is a slightly crunchy cookie that has a really nice almond and chocolate flavor. I think you're going to really like them. Give them a try. And the hypno dough says to make sure you press thumbs up on this video.